Proclamation of the Mendocino County Board of Supervisors recognizing and honoring Dave Bingston upon his retirement following 36 years of dedicated service with Mendocino County. Whereas Dave Bankston began his career with Mendocino County in November 1972, and whereas Dave worked with his way through the ranks of the Agricultural Department, eventually earning the position of Assistant Agricultural Commis Commissioner, Assistant Director of Weights and Measures in April 1982, and whereas Dave once again earned a promotion becoming Agricultural Commissioner, Sealer of Weights and Measures in January 1989, and whereas Dave has consistently conducted business with honesty and integrity, earning the respect of the agricultural community and his employees, and whereas Dave is an expert on many topics including mushrooms, birds, plants, and whereas Dave skillfully navigated the political waters of Mendocino County, surviving such controversial issues as aerial herbicide spraying, the GMO ordinance, and marijuana in and out and back into the crop report, and whereas Dave is known for his brief, succinct conversation style, <laughs> and whereas the buttons on Dave's phone have worn thin, and whereas Dave has exceeded his quota of hobbies, as per his wife, and no longer has time to work, and whereas Dave's staff is sad to see him go, but wishes the best for him, and whereas Dave deserves a long, happy retirement, full of birding, bike riding, mushroom hunting, gardening, and relaxing with his family and friends. Now therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Supervisors of the County of Mendocino hereby recognizes and honors Dave Bingston for his dedicated leadership and service, and further that this Board extends to Dave its congratulations and best wishes on the occasion of his retirement. Thank you. That's very nice. And that's a mo and that's a motion. And that's and that's a that's, that's a motion. It is the motion. Do we have a second? second? A second by Supervisor Smith. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passed unanimous. Uh, would you make the presentation and we'll have uh, open it up to the audience and uh, board comments. I couldn't have made it this far without all the good people that work for me. I mean, with all the mistakes that happen in government, it's a wonder that it works, but it works because there are so many good people. And most of my staff is here. Could you guys stand up really quick? <laughs> and there's been a lot of past staff people. that Some have gone on to better things, but I wouldn't have been able to do all this without, you know, really good people behind me. And my wife, Christy, stand up or not, or raise your hand or something. So I really appreciate this opportunity to get something like this and acknowledge all the good people. And there's a lot of other good people in government, you all know. And I don't know, I'll run out of words. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> So I want to thank you, and I, I don't envy you. As soon as I got into the room and I heard what you were discussing, I was glad that I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Uh, comment by board members? Gary. Well, I'd like to thank Dave. I've worked with him. Um, he welcomed me to my job in 1986. We've had long discussions through the years. He's always taught me um, about every issue that has come up. I've always appreciated that and the close relationship we have had in dealing with um, agricultural issues throughout that time. 
but you're really appreciated, Dave, and I want to thank you for your service. Any other members of the public want to speak? Supervisor Colfax, you want to speak? Go ahead. Well, I just want to thank Dave for his uh, service. Uh, it's been a department that uh, we could rely on, and uh, uh, Dave's good humor and willingness. First time I've ever heard you run out of words. But, uh, <laughs> but I would like to suggest when you go through that list of all the different uh, e events that you've survived, and I think uh, with a, a degree of, uh, very clear degree of uh, aplomb uh, in the face of some of these extremely controversial uh, episodes we've uh, all witnessed, uh, I think here that you ought to take advantage of your wordsmithing and uh, you could write a manual for incoming uh, department heads here in Mendocino County as to how I survived the war of, and you could have uh, at least five or six chapters and, uh, and uh, probably get our museum to publish it and, uh, and uh, make a small fortune in retirement and uh, really enjoy it. So that's my advice to you now that you're leaving here. It's our job to advise the public and uh, that's my suggestion. But seriously, thank you for your good humor and the years of service been valuable. Thank you. I just wanted to say uh, thank you, and you've set a, a high standard for ethics and service that we could all emulate or try to. Thanks. Chris? Uh, I just, uh, uh, Chris Brown, Air Pollution Control Officer. Uh, um, about five, six years ago, uh, state was coming out with a new report on open burning and you know they kind of do these projections for local counties and um, one of the questions I had to answer for them was uh, how many acres of pears are we going to have 20 years from now and of course that's not really an air quality question so I picked up the phone and called Dave and four and a half hours later um, I had a whole lot of information about what was going on with pear business <laughs> and, and I got to say um, the amount of knowledge that he has on his fingertips um, was incredible, and um, personally, I find it a crime what the Chinese were doing to Paris, and I, I still share that story, and uh, um, it, it's, it's a tragedy to see local business go, uh, go away, but um, it was an amazing education for me in an area where I don't spend a lot of time. Thank you, Dave. Peter Bradford, Anderson Valley. I'm here representing the Mendocino County Cattlemen's Association, and unless somebody's in the room from the Farm Bureau, I'll represent them as well. Um, we'd really like to express our thanks, Dave, to all your many years of service. We could probably give 36 years of reasons, uh, but namely for livestock operators, his support of the wildlife services uh, program that he, he has kept active in the county. There, I won't miss his long conversations on the telephone, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I do hope that with his retirement that he will not uh, cease to give advice to both those organizations. And we would really like to have your participation, Dave, in, in uh, our daily and, and uh, meetings. So once again, thank you so much for your years of service, Dave. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Tony Leonard, I'm the Assistant Ag Commissioner. Um, I just, on behalf of the staff, want to thank Dave for being such a great boss. Um, he really has a great ability to keep his life in balance with a very stressful job. He managed to come in with a positive attitude every day. Um, as you can imagine, I've become quite a listener, and I feel like <laughs> I should probably qualify for a minor in Mendocino County Agricultural History. But um, <laughs> I look back and I wish I would have been taking notes some of these times. But I, I'm going to maintain good contact with Dave. And, I, and when we were out looking at pear orchards the other day, or yesterday, in fact, we saw Dave riding his bike down Redemeyer. So I don't think he's going to waste any time <laughs> um, getting into his hobbies and enjoying his retirement. And we wish him the best. Well, yeah, Dave, you know, we're you're going to retire, but we're not going to let that 36 years of experience go away. So I'm sure we'll be calling you on. The